I started out at ASU Mount Home, uh, but I wanted to go to UCA. It didn't work out. Um, but I finished up my first two years at ASU Mount Home. But I'm currently finishing up my master's at UCA. That's where I wanted to go before. Um, I lived with my parents. Uh, it's expensive, you know. Um, I wish I could have got the dorm experience, though. So I would say that um, if you ever are unsure about going off because of that, or, you know, just whatever reason, don't be afraid to go and do it because I regret that sometimes. I mean, it worked out, but I missed out on all the good experiences, so. I would say probably break. I loved how long the breaks were. Don't procrastinate, just get it done. I'm not a big procrastinator, but perseverance is the biggest thing in college. Um, push through, even when it's hard. It may seem hard then, but looking back, it'll, it won't be a big deal later on. It wasn't a bad, like, I went to ASU Mount Home for the first part, and it wasn't bad, but there's definitely better options out there, and uh, no disrespect to them, but I think the experience elsewhere would be more enjoyable, more fun. You miss out on that there. You don't get that same, you know, campus life, so. I attended college my first two years at the College of the Sequoias in California. I chose to attend that college because that is where I was living at the time. And then I moved to Mountain Home, Arkansas, where I attended um, the Arkansas State University for elementary education. And then I attended William Woods University for my master's degree in curriculum and instruction. Well, um, I did major in um, education and I chose that because I love working with kids and being a teacher and just um, all parts of working with kids and in instruction. Um, the first two years I lived at home with my parents to save money and then when I moved to Arkansas I began working um, as much as possible to support myself um, because I lived 2,000 miles away from my parents so I had no choice but to. Um, the independence and gaining the responsibility of making sure that um, I was growing as a young adult and becoming an achiever. Probably meeting new people and the opportunities that those people um, led me into. My advice would be to never give up and even when it's hard to keep pursuing your dream, keep working and um, that as long as you keep being persistent, doors will open and um, opportunities will come to you. Yes, um, I would, all three of my college experiences were really um, beneficial and especially um, having the new university here in Mountain Home because it's local and it's very affordable for our students and the convenience of it is nice. I attended UCA, University of Central Arkansas, another bear in the house. And I chose UCA um, at that time. Hmm. It was close to home, but far enough away that I didn't have to live at home. I originally started majoring in speech language pathology. And while I was in speech pathology, I had to take a sign language class. And from that, I decided to change my major to deaf education. I lived in a dorm my freshman year. And then I also lived in a dorm my sophomore year, so my first and second years. I lived in a dorm on campus. And what was the other part of your question? <laughs> How was that experience? Um, that experience was fun, very different. Yeah. It was different because you are sharing this one place with a whole lot of other girls at the time. You also have one bathroom that's down the hall and you have to take all your little stuff down to the bathroom to take a shower. And so that was kind of weird. And trying to pack all of your stuff that you used to have in your room into one tiny half of a closet. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about college was um, just the experience of getting to meet a lot of different people um, for the first time you know, you're used to going to high school with all these people you know that are from your same area and when I was in college I got to meet people from all over the state and that's where I um, learned about I didn't know about some of these places up in northern Arkansas and when they told me about them I thought "Ooh, I want to visit there the hardest thing about college for me was, well, I went to college at 17. I graduated my junior year and went to college very young. And 
I think that was difficult. I was so used to having, you know, my parents and I was so used to having some of my close friends to fall back on. And when I went to college, it was just me. They all were behind. So it was hard to um, just take things on my own and deal with things on my own at first. But I think it also gave me a lot of perseverance, um, taught me how to be independent and um, take care of yourself. I think too often students want to pick a college to pick a college you know they pick a place what I've learned now on this side is you need to think about what you want to major in and what you want to go into and then look at the colleges that offer those programs and pick from those you don't pick the college just because that's where your best friend is going you don't pick the college that your parents and grandparents went to just to go to that same college you've got to think about what are your interests and then pick the best college for that interest or that that area I absolutely would recommend UCA. They have some of the top programs both in education, which is, I didn't start in education, I was in speech pathology, but I know they have a top-notch education program. Um, they have a great art program. I know that because my sister, um, who had started in the military, came back and went to UCA and went to their art program, just like Miss Keela. Um, they have a great um, PT and OT program. Um, they have a really great business program and a music program. So, I mean, they just have so many strong areas. But to me, UCA is kind of like Norfolk in a way. It's a small college where you get to know a lot of people. It's not such a large campus that you feel just one in a hundred thousand people.